We've got another software update, version 2020.24.6.1. I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and we're going to take a look at the latest improvements. The latest software update for Tesla version 2020.24.6.1, to be precise, brings with it some exciting new features and improvements to some of the newest features like dash cam viewer and for those of you with the FSD upgrade, traffic light and stop sign control. And that's where we're going to start. Now, as you may recall, with a previous software update about a month ago, the most exciting improvement was traffic light and stop sign control. For the first time, the car automatically stopped at stop signs and traffic lights. This was exciting. However, some found it cumbersome to give the car confirmation upon approaching each and every single traffic light, including green lights. So Tesla listened at least a little with this update because now if there's a car in front of you going through a green light, you don't have to give the car confirmation and it will go through automatically. Now this is also the case if you're stopped at a traffic light and the car ahead of you drives through the intersection on green. You will also not have to give the car confirmation. However, if there are no cars in front of you, you still need to give the car confirmation, even if it's green. Now that being said, there is a visualization improvement. As usual, the line where the car stops before entering the intersection turns red if it's going to stop. Now, once the light turned green and you gave a confirmation, it turned gray. Now the line is green if it's going through the intersection. This is a bigger improvement than you might think because it's easier to see and process because we all know green means go and red means stop. I was able to test stop sign and traffic light control with the latest software update and I didn't notice anything different other than the improvements I just mentioned. So if you want to see more about how it does in different traffic situations, be sure to check out that video. I'll post a link in the description below. To wrap up this category, the main improvements are no confirmation to go through a green light only if there's a car in front of you and the stop line now turns green to let you know it will go through the intersection. This next improvement has been requested by a lot of people for quite a while and once again, Tesla is delivering. Sort of. With nine cameras surrounding the car, many people would like to get a 360 degree view of the car while backing up. Now, this is nothing new. In fact, my 2013 Nissan Leaf had this feature and it was really nice. Tesla has now included the option to add the left and right side repeater cameras to the screen while backing up. All you have to do is swipe up from the bottom while the backup camera is on and the camera will show up on the bottom of the backup image with the rear camera still the predominant image. Now, as usual, you can also view the cameras while driving and with the side cameras, you'll now be able to check your blind spots. Not the 360 degree view many were asking for, but we're one step closer. The dash cam viewer was just recently added and Tesla has now made it easier for you to skip through to the important parts of each clip triggered in sentry mode. While viewing a sentry mode clip, you will now see a red dot on the scrub line indicating where its sentry mode was activated, allowing you to quickly find the important parts of the clip. There has also been an improvement to the walk away door lock feature. You now have the ability to disable walk away door lock when you're home. Now, I absolutely love this feature because I can't tell you how many times I've walked out to my car to get something in it, only to realize I don't have my phone with me. Now, granted, I was able to unlock it with my Apple Watch, but now I don't have to worry about it at all. Now, to turn this feature on, tap the car icon, tap locks, and scroll down to walk away door lock and select exclude home. Have you ever wondered why there's a camera above the rear view mirror? Well, up until now, there really was no use for it. A while back, Elon Musk did mention it would be used for security when the car is driving people in your self-driving car. But now you have the option to enable the camera to record images and short clips just prior to a collision or safety event. According to Tesla, this will help engineers to develop safety features and enhancement in future updates. Now to turn this feature on, go to controls by tapping the car icon, safety and security, data sharing, 
and allow cabin camera analytics. There have also been minor improvements to TuneIn with improved discoverability of TuneIn stations and podcasts, making it easier to browse content. They have also added the ability to adjust playback speed of podcasts up to two times the speed. En route battery warm-up was added a while ago to condition the battery for optimal charging speed while supercharging. Tesla has now added en route battery warm-up when navigating to a third-party quick charging station. And if you speak Portuguese, you can now select it as your language on the screen. Tesla, muito obrigado. As usual, I'm sure there are the usual bug fixes, but overall, not a bad update. I'd love to read what you think in the comments section below. And as usual, like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.